Have you ever really thought about your voice? It's more than just a way to talk. It's your secret superpower. Your voice tells a story, even when you're not trying. When you're excited, your voice jumps up, like when your favorite band announces a concert. You don't say, I am excited. You shout, woo, this is awesome. When you're sad, your voice gets quiet and slow. Friends can tell, even if you don't say a word. Anger, your voice gets sharp and fast, every word a jab. Our voices are like built-in emojis, broadcasting our feelings to the world. Even if you don't understand the language, you can hear joy in a laugh or sorrow in a cry. It's how we connect, show empathy, and comfort each other. The magic isn't just in the words, but in we say them. Your voice is a mood ring everyone can hear. We're experts at decoding it, often without realizing. We've been doing it since we were babies, learning from our parents' voices. But here's the twist. It's not just humans anymore. There's a new listener in town, one without ears. It's powered by algorithms, and it's learning to understand our feelings, maybe even better than we do. Imagine a world where your voice is being read by machines, not just people. That's not science fiction, it's happening right now. Your voice is powerful, and now, technology is tuning in. Ready to see how? Let's dive in. Our voices are emotional radio stations, always broadcasting. Now, artificial intelligence is tuning in. The same tech that recommends movies or helps you avoid traffic is learning to hear your feelings. AI listens to thousands of hours of voices, laughing, crying, shouting, whispering. It analyzes patterns, connecting the dots between sound and emotion. It's not magic, it's smart technology. The AI doesn't feel empathy, but it's a detective, picking up clues in your voice you don't even notice. It can tell if you're genuinely happy or just pretending. While you talk, AI works in the background, breaking down your voice. It hears not just words, but the music, the emotion. This isn't the distant future, it's happening now. AI is already out there, listening and learning. It's changing how we interact with technology in surprising ways. Imagine your smart speaker knowing when you're down or your phone sensing your stress. The line between human and machine understanding is blurring, and it's only getting sharper. So, how does AI actually read your feelings? It's not just listening for words like, I'm mad, it's way smarter. First, pitch, how high or low your voice is. Excitement raises it, sadness lowers it. Next, speed. Fast talking can mean excitement or anxiety. Slow speech might mean you're tired or thoughtful. Volume matters too. Anger or excitement is loud, sadness is quiet. But it's not just loud or soft. It's the changes in volume that tell a story. Then there's jitter and shimmer, tiny shakes in pitch and volume. A calm voice is steady, a nervous one trembles. AI measures all these tiny details, even ones you don't notice. It's like a super sensitive emotional radar. By combining pitch, speed, volume, and those micro fluctuations, AI builds a picture of how you feel. It's not perfect, but it's getting better every day. The more it listens, the more it learns. Soon it might know your mood before you do. That's the secret sauce, data, patterns, and a lot of listening. It's a new way for machines to hear us, and it's changing everything. Ready to see where it's showing up? This tech isn't just in labs, it's everywhere. Call a customer service line? AI might be listening, flagging if you're upset so a human can help. It can suggest agents offer a discount or escalate your call if you sound frustrated. Companies use it to analyze calls, training staff to handle emotions better. In healthcare, mental health apps listen for stress or anxiety, offering support or suggesting a break. It's not a doctor, but it can be an early warning system. Smart devices are next. Your speaker might play calming music if you sound down. The goal? Make tech more human, more empathetic. Your gadgets won't just follow commands, they'll understand the feeling behind them. It's about making our interactions with technology more natural. The robot ears are already here, quietly listening, and they're learning fast. Let's be real, this can feel a little creepy. Who's listening? Where's your data going? Are you being profiled without knowing? Privacy is a huge concern. We need to know when AI is listening and have the right to opt out. Mistakes happen too. AI might misread your mood. Maybe you're just a fast talker or you have a cold. If decisions are made based on this tech, like in job interviews or loans, errors could be serious. There's also the risk of manipulation. 
ads could target you when you're vulnerable, or bosses could monitor your mood at work. Helpful? Maybe. Invasive? Definitely possible. We need rules, transparency, and control over our data. Like any powerful tool, it can help or harm. The conversation about how we use it is crucial. We have to set boundaries before robot ears are everywhere. It's up to us to decide what's okay, and that discussion needs to happen now. So, what's next? Emotion reading AI is here to stay. It could make tech feel more like a friend than a machine. Imagine a car that hears you're tired and suggests a break, or a game that senses your frustration and adapts. Learning apps could help kids when they're confused, just by listening to their voices. The possibilities are huge, more accessible, more compassionate technology. But we have to get it right. Balance helpfulness with privacy. Trust is everything. We need to know our data is safe and AI is fair. The choices we make now will shape the future. Our voices will become an even more powerful way to interact with the world. We won't just give commands, we'll share how we feel. Technology will understand not just our words, but our context. It's a big step forward, exciting, a little scary, but full of potential. So next time you speak, remember, someone, or something, might be listening to more than just your words.